I'm Terry Nash. The title of this poem is A Cowman's Lot. Two on the ground at the end of the day and a heifer waiting for night. Front's moving in with the clouds thick and gray and her bag's getting swollen and tight. Still in the saddle where he'd been all day, no one's sure tonight things will freeze. He looked at the clouds like folks do when they pray. Lord, what makes him pick nights like these? Well, he hazed her out from the rest of the cows and into a dry cabin pen. Scattered straw he'd save for times such as now in a shelter, out of the wind. Unsettled and restless, the young cow paced. He'd seen this in cabin before. She'd delay if she remained in her space, so he backed off and gave her some more. Well, the first flakes to fall were wet and wide-spaced. It's a warning, for soon they fell quicker. Wind and dark were neck and neck as they raced, and the cowboy pulled on his slicker. Thought about supper. The wife would worry. She'd watch for his truck at the gate. And he, with a heifer no man could hurry, and decided supper could wait. You see, most cowmen, at the end of the day, would likely reflect on this spot. He asked for this job. It weren't for the pay. It's the love of a cowman's lot. Well, the temperature dropped. Snow turned now to ice. Stung his face like splinters of glass. Through squinted eyes, he watched the cow circle twice and then take a place in the grass. She laid down and pushed and stood up and strained, two circles, then back in the grass. One foot was glimpsed, but she stood up again and looked his way in the moment past. Well, he turned to his chores to get out of sight, reminded she needed her space. This labor could last plumb into the night and nothing would quicken the pace. He fed all the horses, rode amongst the cows, and knew, using time he knew she required. He rode back and finished to check on her now, and hoping she wasn't too tired. Two feet now emerged, where just one had shown. She labored her calf to expel. The cow then uttered a low, quiet moan and stretched out to rest for a spell. But in five more minutes, a small head appeared. Meanwhile, the mercury's fallen. The calf was soon out, but the rancher then feared it'd need help or death would be calling. But the heifer's up. She's inspecting her work. Soft lowing, she battled the cold. Nuzzled and licked, the calf shivered and jerked, and the man marveled as instincts took hold. She licked the calf clean, and he tried out new feet, nose diving plumb into the ground. But he then got a taste of mother's milk sweet and latched on to the spigot he'd found. The man grinned. To hear the smack of wet lips, knew the calf was getting his meal. Inner warmth would soon spread from nose plumb to hips, and mom's rough tongue would seal the deal. Steward of cattle, of his birthright and land, he'd not think of quitting this spot. He's there, if needed, to lend her a hand, the best friend this young cow's got, a cowman's lot.